A reality TV star Ariata Essay has revealed why she does not post much on Instagram. She said, and I quote, a lot of people have been asking me why I don't post um, often on Instagram. The reason is because I live more of my life in reality than on social media. A lot of people would deny this, but I think a large number of people compete with themselves and in the process, um, they find themselves living a life they earned, that ain't theirs for people who don't really care. Try to live for yourself and make you a better person outside social media. It really doesn't make sense knowing you're rich on social media and dead broke in reality. Social media is fun, but learn to live more in reality. You will have peace and zero pressure, end of quote. First, why the people asking why you're not posting on social media? They have problem. No, she needs to tell us who these people are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who are the people? That's if they are. If they are. Really if there's not, anybody yeah. asking. Mm -hmm. mm. Benny. <laughs> 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 because, okay, so that question we're asking is born out of the fact that I went through essay speech mm. and in a week she definitely posts once. At least. In a week once? Yes. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. I mean, in that's. In a week once. Some, That's some fair people post, Facebook can post two, three every day. Should no, I'm just saying. Names? Oh, yes. Who are the people that I mean, can post like every yeah, day? Mm -hmm. Tommy Bakri. But no, hold on. Hold on, please. If your business, yeah, you can make go on. But I just want to. I don't need you to go on. I, I want. To, I can take Tommy Bakri. Mm. If your business is social media oriented, you cannot do without posting. How is business social media oriented? Oh yeah, I mean, Toby's they are, they are influencers, they are Toby's models. Toby's an influencer. Yeah. Hold on, don't Toby forget, posts don't kids. Also, ladies, don't forget also, Arietta was in Big Brother House for mm -hmm. a while. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean their career path yeah. and what they do can be and the she same owns, thing. She owns, she owns a salon. Mm -hmm. and so she, there's no reason why she shouldn't be posting every day. But what so if she has a business she page no, for her She has a business but exactly, page, yeah, actually. She does have a business page. And she has not unlocked that part of knowing that you can actually use your personal page I, to I push your brand. I just want to one person in there. So, All these other people who just recently came out of um, Big Brother House and The Last House, they mm -hmm. post like every hour. Because that's the strategy to your business. And so I'm just yeah. saying, I'm just saying. I understand posts, where Ariata is coming from. Is yeah. it Ariata or Ariata? Ariata. 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 I understand where she's coming from. I get the point. It's it, it, regardless of how often you post, even if you post every day, you cannot post more than once, one minute of your life on social media, right? Mm. So for the day, I mean, so even if I decide to put up a picture today now, how many seconds does it take me to take the picture and put it up? And I'm done, right? Mm. But then it's important for you to make your Real, real life, life. interesting mm. and not so dependent on social media to find your happiness and then get pressure from left and right. But about her not posting frequently, I, I don't know how much more frequent she wants to post. Except she's now she has now imbibed the culture of using the platform to push her business. But she's not doing that. So nobody expects her to post every time. This is it. I think she's talking about the pressure of social media, of being on social media. Mm -hmm. And for all we care, she could have a whole lot to be posting every day, but she's not about that life. Because and she doesn't want she to doesn't so want to. That means she doesn't have a and lot to post. Which, yeah. If you have something take, to post, you post it. I want to take the advice she gave to say, you know what I mean? You should be she concerned about your real life than mm -hmm. you are on social media. Many people can't even tell the difference any longer between their real life and mm -hmm. social media. Right. They're living for the glam. And for most of it, it's all fugazi. What the portray on the glam is not really what is happening. You have somebody posting so much about they have been here and been there, but in reality, they're dead broke. They're going through stuff, but they will never post that. And so I think we shouldn't get consummated by always wanting to put things out there on the glam, on the gram, but in real life, we're not leaving. So even when we're leaving, we're doing everything because we want to put it out there for people to see. Mm -hmm. So that is still you not leaving. So I want to take to that advice she gave that, you know what, it's good advice mm. um, for reason why she doesn't post so often and why people are asking her, I don't know. You know. <laughs> Continue. Why did you laugh, babe? You know, so, <laughs> so, you know, so at the end of the day, there are a whole lot of people, I mean, it's all audio. We, we've read about audio mm. stuff. I mean, people never, people never mm. post their failures. Right. People can never post their source of wealth. Mm. And I always say this, if you cannot tell me if I cannot validate your source of wealth and everything you display on Instagram, I can't, I can't compare myself to you. Right. So there's a whole lot of comparison and competition because of what's being posted on social media. Mm. People get pressured. You won't tell somewhere you feel the pressure. No, 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 of course. You know? see, I'm not saying yeah. what she said does not make sense. I'm yeah. just saying 
I mean, we're analyzing what she said. Yeah. So from the beginning, where she's saying, oh, People. I don't post a lot and all, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you post enough for a human being. She's actually very right? active. So she is active. And she gives us the good part of her life mm -hmm. also. Oh, I'm here, I'm there, and all that. If we want to start dissecting and say, okay, what exactly do you do to get to all this? Then we'll have another conversation. But... I agree with what she's saying. Don't let social media pressure you. Yeah. Mm. Do what you want to do and be happy. Put out what you want to put out. But if social, someone will say something, I think there was a way they put it, that if um, if you're not making money on social media, then you should probably spend less time on it. Yeah. But you cannot compare yourself because you, your business is off social media. It doesn't require you being active there to make money and interact with the people that are supposedly your fan that mm. would generate to brands wanting to work with you. You cannot compare yourself with them if mm. they have to be active. For Tokyo Makinwa, for example, she would take a picture or a particular clothes, and then she'll make like five posts on that same clothes. She might not post it every uh, five times a day, but she might post the same picture for five days. And because she's promoting something and she's tagging something, if that is your life and then you are in partnership with so many brands, imagine you have a clothes, your outlook, your hair is from somebody else, a clothes is from somebody else, and you have to promote all these brands. It's a partnership you have to respect and you have to work and push their brand so if that's not your business it underst it's understandable for you to take a back seat and say well, you know what i'm chilling offline but sometimes for some people i can say this because i understand it social media is work it's um, business for them i think i get what she, where she's coming from and she's not talking about i want to believe she's not talking about people that are posting for business mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she's of talking course. about people that are living the fake life on mm -hmm. instagram exactly. basically that's what exactly. she's saying the only part like if we're analyzing it the only problem here is that she used herself as an example and it sounded like she's not an active person on well, instagram she but she is but aside that every other thing she said is the truth and i think everybody should pick to that um to pick that advice True. and live by it I think in, in closing to this topic, if, if it is, whatever it is you're posting on Instagram, mm -hmm. make sure that's the real life. That's the life yeah. you're actually living. Mm. You know? Okay. <laughs>